Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. For this project, you're going to need 10 recycled containers. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the tags off of the containers, and these happen to be real easy to remove, and there's no residue. Now that all the containers have the labels removed, we're ready to move on. So now I'm ready to paint them. I'm gonna start with some orange paint. I'm gonna go around the center of each one of these containers and give it a nice orange coat. Now I'm not worried about it being perfect. I'm just giving it a light coat all the way around. You can use painter's tape and be more clear with your design if you prefer but this is what I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to go in with some yellow spray paint and I'm going to hit the bottom of the containers with this yellow spray paint. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. What I'm going for is kind of a candy corn look. So I'm going to go all the way around and now I'm going to let this dry completely and I'll go ahead and paint all the rest of them before moving on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and let all of these dry before I move on to the next step. Next, I took small pumpkins and a pool noodle to make bumpers on either side, and I lined the back up here with big pumpkins. You could use a hay bale if you'd rather. I'm gonna take these painted bottles and line them up like bowling pins. Now what I have here is an easy game of bowling that you can play all fall long and is great for Thanksgiving as well. Now you can easily bowl with a kickball or a ball of your choice or you can use a pumpkin to go bowling with. For this project I picked up two sets of cones from the dollar store. So I'm going to start with two cones and I've got some Rust-Oleum spray paint here in the color yellow. I'm going to go ahead and just give the bottom of each of these a light coat of yellow. I'm not looking for perfection, just a little bit at the bottom. If you wanted to be pickier about it and you wanted more of a perfect look, then I would suggest some painter's tape, wrapping that around, and then adding your spray paint there and you can peel it off. Okay, so now I'm going to move to the next step. So now I'm going to use some white Rust-Oleum spray paint and I'm just going to hit the tops lightly. And again, not looking for perfection, kind of like this more splattered look. And I'm going to go all the way around the tops and I'm kind of creating a candy corn look. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to let everything dry completely. I'm gonna go ahead and let all of these dry, and then I'm gonna move on to the next step. I've placed the painted cones in this format for the ring toss that we're creating. So I have some glow sticks from the dollar store. So I've got these bracelets and I'm putting them together. And with these, they're pretty small because these are bracelets. So with these, this ring toss is gonna be pretty hard to do. So if you want something that's more of a challenge, keep the rings small like this. So you can buy the necklaces, but a lot of times the necklaces come with less in them. So a lot of times what I like to do is just buy the bracelets because there's 20 in a container of bracelets and I can put two of them together to create a better ring for ring toss. And now the game is ready to be played. These are just a few ideas of games that you can create to play to get your kids off their phones and engage with you this holiday season. And I hope this inspires you to create some yard games of your own this holiday season. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.